So here with Nordic, and you have the Arm Cortex M33 product right here. Yeah. So hi, so who are you? So my name is Paul. Uh, I'm with the product management team in, uh, in Nordic. So uh, here at uh, Embedded World, we are highlighting some of our new products. So uh, this is, uh, this is uh, one of the first M33 right there? Yeah, so this is one of the absolutely first M33. This is a very nice device. Uh, we are, uh, run the M33. We have all the features on the M33. And we also include uh, the crypto cell from ARM. So we are able to run uh, very nice and high security applications on it. It's actually PSA 1 certified already. And uh, you have different versions of it? No, so we have one version of this, but these are different kits that we have today. So this is the DK, this is available today. It comes with, uh, with the 9160 together with a Bluetooth device. You can do breaching with it. Uh, very easy, it's expandable with Arduino connectors. This is a new kit that we're coming out with later this year. Um, this one is a much more compact form factor. It it's like this on the other side? No, it's built on the same kind of thinking as we did when we did the when we did it for the Bluetooth, this is the Thingy 52. This is going to be the Thingy 91. They both have the same kind of features, except this one is Bluetooth connected. This is LT connected, direct connection to the cloud. Can it, we look inside somehow? Can we... Yeah, I can try to open it up for you. Yeah. It includes a lot of different sensors. Most of them are on the back side here. So this one has nine degrees of freedom. So it's got accelerometers, gyros, compass. It's got air, air quality sensors. It measures temperature, humidity. Uh, CO2 levels. You can even pull it out of there, or uh, it's yeah. difficult, very difficult yeah. to get it out. <laughs> okay, it's uh, it's made to stay in. Somehow. It's made to stay in, yes. Yeah. So, with all of the sensors are on the back side of the board here, so you can uh, see it. And this one also includes the, the short range here. So we got the 52840 here as well. So we're going to do bridging to bl to Bluetooth, to Thread, to Zigbee. So you can demonstrate a lot of different kind of systems with it. And this one actually hooks up directly to our cloud. So you'll be able to read out the sensor data directly where, from it when you when you enable it. Just plug in the card, and you're up and running. So the power consumption is uh, is good. Um, what kind of power consumption do you have? It's called the NRF 9160. Yes. Yeah. So this one is running on on LTE. So it will be, depend a lot on the connection uh, timing timing you're running. So if you're running it with a low due to cycles, you only report in once in a while. Uh, you will see that it will run around 15 microamps. If you connect every 10 minutes. This is the size? Yes, so it's by 10 by 16. Um, it, will, uh, it will use around 15 microamp if you run it every 10 seconds. If you run it every, no, 10 minutes. If you run it every 20 seconds, you're running half a milliamp. So you can run really low power applications with this one. So this is a big deal for the future of uh, uh, IoT, is it? Yes, this is definitely a big deal for the future of IoT. It will enable you to spread units out all over the, the, the place and uh, run them from batteries and still be able to connect to the cloud. So you have longer battery life, more security. Do you? Yes. And so uh, isn't it a, a typical kind of uh, uh, size, or is it a little bit wider than? Uh, it's so, not so squarish, or? So if you're looking at this one, it's significantly larger than what we get with uh, with the Bluetooth devices, which are smaller. But if you look at these ones compared to other uh, BLE devices in the market, no, no, LTE devices in the market, this is significantly smaller. You don't find anybody with this size, with this kind of complexity inside. If you're, if you're looking... There's a SIM card right here. Yes, so there's a SIM card right here. Uh, on the other board here, so this is a, a standard standard SIM card. This is basically because we want to be able to use it all over the world. So this package has a modem? Yes, so it's an application processor and a modem inside. You make the modem? Yes, so they, everything is built from our side, so we are doing the, the entire design on our side. Have you done LTE modems before? No, but the team who has uh, who did the device has done quite a lot of them. So they've so been they know how to do it. They've been doing probably two, three, four generations of uh, of cellular modems in the past. But did you acquire LT LTE modem company or? Uh, we uh, there was a lot of uh, LTE expertise available in Finland after Nokia closed down. So we have a, yeah. a large design team out of uh, out of Finland who does all the work for us. But Nordic Semiconductor is based in. Uh, Today we have most of the engineering in Norway. We have uh, we have a huge team in Finland, as I said, and we also have uh, are doing quite a bit of engineering out of uh, Poland now. Nice. It's really really hard to get it out, right? Really hard. Uh, then, yeah. Uh, I will, if you give me a little bit of time, I will okay. see if I can get it out. Yeah. Without uh, snapping a, a nail. <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't want you. Yeah. Basically. Okay. Let's try. <laughs> Maybe uh, one of your friends has like an already opened one. No, we don't have. Yeah, I think that's thin enough to pick it up. You have like a um, 
an opener for this one, not for the beer. Where's the hammer? Get it right out. Look at now. There you go. Nice. So what do we see on the other side here? So if you're looking at here, on this side here, we got uh, we got the LTE device, we got uh, the short range device, the BLE Thread Sigby. On this side here, we got all of the sensors, we got the antenna matching circuitry and so on. Um, and the sensors on this side is motion sensor, is environment sensors. Nice. Uh, and then there's just a the battery? Uh, and there's a battery and it's got a multicolor LED here, so you'll be able to... To, uh, to show the status of it and so on, what's going on with it. So, uh, most compact LTE IoT device ever? Most compact IoT uh, device in the market, LTE uh, IoT device in the market today. Also, the absolutely lowest power consumption in the market today. And again, we have the application processor on board, so you, don't, you only need this device to be able to make a complete system. So, how many are you going to sell of these? Uh, what's your are target? We, we are planning to sell a huge amount of them. Uh, hopefully in What's the millions. What's the price for this? Uh, the pricing uh, depends on the volume as always. If you go to DigiKey today, they will be sampling at around $25 a piece, but of course in volume, say, No, with LTE. Up. With LTE, yes. $25 a piece with LTE, and this is a kit to develop, right? No, that's the, that's the device itself. The, the device itself. Yeah, the kit, yeah. The, the kit pricing is, is not determined yet. We are still uh, looking into what, uh, what we were able to provide them for. But our goal, as always, is to provide the kits at a minimum cost, so that we can get as many customers picking up like as possible. Like $26 or something. I think the, 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 black, the black one is actually going for 30, 39 This one is going to be a bit more expensive. The black one is? This one, this is the Bluetooth, the short range Bluetooth one. Bluetooth 31, did you say? Uh, this one is 39 39 In resale. And uh, this one is going to be a bit more expensive, but we always try to make them as cheap as possible. And what does it say? Winner of? Winner of uh, best device. So we have the best product. And that's for the 9160. Cool. All yeah. right. So looking forward to a 5G solution, right? Uh, 5G is something that we will consider over time, but uh, right now 4G with the low power modes there is, uh, is the focus for us.